Hey guys, Lewis here, just making this short video to talk about a topic that I've been asked about quite a lot recently. So I just thought I'd make this short video just to help everybody out. Now, when you're soloing and a diminished chord comes up, um, you normally, people tend to go, oh, bugger, what, what the hell do I do here? Because you get to the point and think, well, how do I, what do I do over this diminished chord when this comes up? Now, there's a really, really simple arpeggio that I use a lot, and it, I'm not going to explain about theory today. I'm just going to show you this little arpeggio because it's really, really simple, and it'll get you playing over diminished chords straight away. So, if I base an example of um, an F sharp diminished, which would be in the key of G, there's a really, really simple arpeggio, which is this. Now, if you actually look at the fingering, it's it's just the same distances per string. So that makes it really, there's not a big fancy shape or pattern you need to remember for this. It's practically just one little shape. So, for example, second fret on the E, then to five. So that sort of distance from sort of the, the second to the fifth. Is the same sort of distance you're going to use for every single note pair string. So, now that's just so simple, so so simple, and that'll get you soloing over that chord straight away. Any sort of line, even just play the scale quickly, that'd sound great. Um, but that's so simple, you know, if you're doing it in a different key, so if you're in the key of A, so it'll be a A flat diminished. I mean, you don't even need to think theory, it's just a shape going up and down. So you're sort of soloing this way, like sort of diagonally. Um, but it's so, so simple, and I think it's something that everybody can do. So give that a try and see if you can get that underneath your fingers. If you'd like the theory or if you'd like any more information, then please just you know leave a comment or, uh, or send me a message and I can help out. And I'd love to see you play it. So uh, keep in touch and I'll speak to you all very soon. Cheers.